Your sphere of influence determines how you as a leader set that tone throughout the organization. How you talk to your people, how you react to them, how you do what I call stimulus thinking, how I get them to take my ideas and drill them down so that my ideas become their ideas and they act on them and do better. When I have one finger pointing at you, I have three pointing back at me. Reactions speak louder than actions. Your team sees you react. Who's the most important person in the firehouse? The most important person is the firehouse is whoever was supposed to put the gas in the truck. Because if the gas doesn't go in the truck, no one is leaving. It really does have a noble purpose. You're really helping others to live their lives. You're showing up to help people move their priorities forward. Sometimes you're moving the priorities forward. And you're feeding your family and taking care of yourself. And what is more noble than that? What was meant for me will never miss me. And what misses me was never meant for me. Stay the course. A lot of people think that they have the conversation and the issue is resolved. In my experience, the issue is very rarely resolved in one conversation. And it falls on us as a leader to make sure that we stay the course. If I say, I'm going to figure out my own reaction, I'm going to get more resources, I'm going to stop doing that, I'm going to hold the meeting differently, I have to step up to the plate and do it. Those two pillars, community engagement being part of and getting financial independence are really what have driven my career and helped me to help others. So I have now spent $450 on what was a $150 hat. But I will tell you something, it is <laughs> my favorite house. I would not change my mind ever. Managing ourselves is the toughest job we have.